Happy Tuesday, everyone. Time for another live commentary. Now, the men's individual foil event at Budapest has happened, and the videos are up now, so I'm going to take a look at a few of them. First thing I saw was uh, the name Guilherme Toldo jumping out at me, and we haven't seen him quite a while on this channel, so let's go with this bout from the round of 16. 3, 2, 1, and play. So, we're going to have Toldo on the left, by the looks of things, and on the right is going to be Lee Kwang Hyun, the uh, Korean. Toldo, actually, we haven't seen him in quite a while. In fact, since Rio, I don't think. But he has still been fencing internationally and doing pretty well, actually. Um, I think Rio gave him a taste of the spotlight, and he's been chasing it ever since. Um, so I'm excited to see how his fencing has evolved since then. I can't imagine he he's uh, done anything but gotten much better. Meanwhile, Lee, on the right, from Korea, uh, embodies the typical Korean style. Super explosive, likes to get in close and uh, scrap things out. He's going to start this bout with a yellow card, I guess. Uh, I have to assume that's for something equipment related. But yes, let's let's see what happens. Toldo, of course, is left-handed. Um, likes his four flicks, at least he did as of Rio. Uh, I imagine his style might have changed a bit, though. We'll see that, hopefully, right off the bat. But uh, Lee is not one for deviating from his uh, norm, which is this very explosive, uh, very in-your-face style that the Koreans have popularized. All right. I believe that's Mepstead in the background there. Maybe Cruz. All right, Tolda comes out. Lee comes back. Lee taking the blade a lot. Nice and slow with this march so far. He does like to blast in when he does though. Ooh, nice pair of post by Toldo. Lee wasn't ready to finish and I think he was a little complacent hanging in distance because Toldo wasn't giving him anything um, really dangerous looking. Two attacks off the line, but that has to go to the left, yeah. Toldo coming out pretty strong right off the bat. I like this. Though this isn't full power from Lee yet. That's a pretty decent long lunge. Toldo does escape from it though. Lee is capable of more though, um, having seen a lot of his bouts in the past. And very quick with the blade as well. Again, bouncy march forward, out of distance, and then accelerates into a very powerful lunge as soon as uh, he breaks in. Toldo with a cross step, rushes a little bit. Lee just stops, and that's enough to crush the distance, but Toldo finds an off target. Nothing for Lee. You gotta be careful with the Koreans. They will... Even if it's just by stopping moving, if you're rushing, they just end up in your face, you're pretty much done for at that point. Toldo's gotta be maybe a little bit slower at his march in the future. He's kinda lucky not to get hit there, honestly. Okay, fast acceleration by Lee just tramples Toldo right off the end. Yeah. <laughs> gotta watch out for that. To be fair, even if you do see it coming, there's not much you can do. Uh, the cranes are just so fast, and Lee in particular. But Toldo did get a nice pair of posts. Tries a counterattack this time. Interesting change. Lee testing on his bib. Guess he hit the arm instead. And here we go again. So it looks like Toldo is pretty much trying to match this um, his opponent roughly speed for speed. Um, which is a challenge, but I think he's up to it. Finishes a little bit out of distance there to make getting away easier if Lee wanted to trample him, I think. Uh, Lee finds enough target, though. So Toldo tries what looked like a remise. That can work, um, but we'll see. Again, Lee. Bounce, bounce. Uh, short lunge for him. Toldo marches pretty slowly. Accelerates a little bit. Tempo changes are always great to make counterattacking harder for the opponent. Oh, bad time to step in, though. Lee changed his tempo really, really quickly. To be fair, with uh, with Lee and oftentimes with the Koreans, it's not really a tempo change from fast to slow. It's a tempo change from like very fast to only slightly fast. Oh, tries a back flick from four, but he misses the uh, he misses it and Lee gets her knees. Another danger that looked like Toldo was a little bit long distance with that flick for what it was. So it might have just been a distance thing that threw him off there, not really uh, him missing. Again, he marches, keeping his blade mostly on the inside as he does so. <laughs> Lee very bouncy with this march. Lee's getting uh, in his comfort zone now. When oh, not that time though. Toto catches him with it. another quick uh, step in. Um, you can tell Lee is really comfortable with what he's doing uh, when he goes kind of fast and loose and kind of dangles his arms a lot. Um, that's when he's really having fun. If he's a little more tense, then um, he's under a bit more pressure usually, or still trying to figure stuff out. But in this case, it looks very comfortable. Yep, and he steps in again. Close got in four, but that was honestly kind of. Uh, <laughs> Unnecessary. That was just all distance work by him. 
He is amazingly athletic. Although Tolda has been able to keep up pretty well. I'm very impressed. He is definitely deserving of his uh, current world rank. I actually forget what rank Tolda is right now. Lee tries to attack off the line, but Tolda parries it. Again, his parry post has been very useful this bout. Lee keeps following him and goes off target eventually. I will say, though, overall, Toldo has been having trouble attacking. Uh, to be fair, oh, infighting. Lee manages to find the blade on the first one, but when he follows it back out. Oh, okay. I could maybe see that um, covering target call, but I guess the referee is not having it. Toldo, I don't think is going to ask for a video review just for that. But yeah, as I said, Toldo hasn't had much luck with his attacks. Luckily, Lee's been trying to come at him, so not a huge deal. But yeah, right there again. He gets the beat. He gets the beat. Uh, but it's Lee's counterattack. He's got to be careful not to chase the target. <laughs> and with the Koreans, it can be super tempting because they're, they're right there. They're right there. But they're always able to get out in time. Lee tries another attack off the line. Every time Lee tries an attack off the line, Toldo is able to parry, but he just can't convert that into a touch. At least not yet. Maybe a line change might be in order. Oh, bounce in, bounce out. Critically, though, the referee does call that Lee's attack. Personally, I couldn't separate that. I would say simultaneous one light, but... <laughs> Looks like Toldo uh, saw something that I didn't there. Or rather, experienced it, because he's one, one of the fencers. Okay, again, he's able to escape from Lee with a parry. Again, though, he rushes a little bit, and Lee kind of ties up his blade with his arm by the looks of things, and manages to get another counterattack. All right. Oh, that's got to go to the left. Yeah, he established it right off the line. Lee kind of waited around and then made a strong lunge into it, but the referee is able to catch that. Lee tries another attack off the line that again told the parries. Yeah, the first one is no. Great call. Told him might ask for video review here. He seems a little bit put out by that, but yeah. You saw Tolo took the blade right off the line. He took another step back, though, and kind of waffled a little bit before um, trying to hit Lee. Lee just kept coming right after that first repost didn't happen, so. Yep. That's how it goes sometimes. Can't give these guys an inch. Although, honestly, the same has been true for Toldo. Oh, pair repost this time by Lee. Doesn't even need to use his uh, super duper counter attack. That attack honestly looked a bit more half hearted from Toldo. I, I wonder if he's um, kind of getting thrown off. Again, tries an attack offline. This time it's Toldo, though. This is good! Oh no! Find it! Find it! Yes! There it is! <laughs> Sorry, I'm uh, trying not to be biased, but that was a very nice bit of infighting work by Toldo. Keeping his blade really far back, you could see Lee was struggling to try and find the blade, even though it was behind Toldo's head. Um, Lee was committing so far trying to reach for the blade that eventually Toldo was able to hit him. Nice little bit of infighting trickery there. Um, I'm actually a little bit surprised that Lee didn't uh, try and switch it up and go for a Mies there, instead of just fishing for Toldo's blade so being so far off the target. Um, looks like we're having a look at the uh, video. I don't know what's going on here. Maybe yeah, I should actually turn the volume up a little so I can hear what the conversation is. Yeah, there we go. Okay, 7-8. Very close bout so far, all told. I, I do feel like Lee's having a slight advantage in most of these. Uh, Toldo's also been hitting a lot of off-targets, so if he can turn those into touches... Again, tries a backflip, misses, it more infighting, and eventually Lee goes off-target. So that time, Toldo didn't pull his arm way back in the infighting situation, and I feel like that kind of favors Lee. He's able to bind and wind a little bit better when the blade's there. But crucially, Toldo again misses that back flick. He's, if he, once he starts kind of making these touches a little bit, maybe a little slower, but certainly more precise, he's definitely in danger of running away with the bout. There's another off target. He might want to test this. Yeah, looked like it was a little bit high on the mask there. Lee, oh, that's, okay. Lee tries a remise. Toldo actually did find the blade really early on there, uh, but he kept his hand where it was. Lee went for the remise, then Toldo hits. Uh, that's 
interesting idea. I don't know what he does if Lee comes off the blade in that situation, but uh, it worked for what it was. Tries to stop it there as Lee starts. Very ambitious to do, again, with such an explosive, uh, such explosive footwork by Lee. Waiting around in distance to stop it is inviting him just uh, chasing you down. Two attacks off the line. This leads off target. <laughs> Both these guys are having trouble turning lights on, it seems. But I feel like Toldo's been having more of that problem. He could actually be way ahead if he'd just been able to hit some of the actions he hit off target or slightly missed. So, it is his point control that's letting him down here. Although, to be fair, same... No? Oh. Oh yeah, he did. There were two sounds. Yep. Beat attack from the right, parry repose from the left. Off target. Um, yeah, this may just be a factor of uh, Toldo having to go so fast to keep up with Lee that he's uh, got to sacrifice a little bit of precision with his hand, which is totally understandable. It's probably better to uh, be less accurate than to just get run down the strip by Lee 15 times in a row and lose. Um, on the other hand, he is kind of struggling to still make touches happen. At best, right now, he's keeping things even, which is, is like no mean feat, considering this is uh, Lee Kuan Kyung, but yeah. Ideally, Toldo would probably want to force the bout down to a slower tempo. Um, that would probably throw Lee off a little bit more, but <laughs> it's very hard to do this. Okay, again, Lee marches. Goes pretty fast this time. He's a little bit late with his hand, but the referee still gives it to him. I think that was also his blade contact on the way in, so pretty safe. <laughs> Toldo <laughs> going to the wrong line uh, to get back on guard. Both uh, fencers taking a bit of a break. 54 seconds in the first period, though. Okay, Toldo marches. Oh, interesting. So you can see Lee fainted a counterattack there and was thinking of uh, doing parry post. I don't know why he went for that crouch there. That was kind of questionable. But en at any rate, Toldo finally lands an attack that looks pretty clean. Lee goes hard off the line. <laughs> oh, does he find the blade again? It was after the pass. Okay. Um, you could see Lee getting ready uh, right before the referee said Ale. Um, his front leg was twitching a little bit. That is a little bit of a tell right off the line. Um, you could, if you, your opponent's body language is really forward. Um, of course, uh, fencers like Kasara can <laughs> turn that on his head and start way forward and then parry or post off the line. Uh, with Lee, it tends to be uh, what you see is what you get, though. Tries another ducking counterattack. I'm not feeling that action from Lee. And again, Toldo lands another attack. I wouldn't say it's a free touch for him, but um, it is an opportunity that makes his otherwise not quite as impressive attack in this bout uh, suddenly work. That situation, though, is all Lee's game. So, maybe Lee is experimenting a bit when he doesn't really need to. Um, his actions have been working pretty well. That ducky counterattack wasn't necessary. Preparation from the right, and it's Toldo's, yep. Lee is not going to ask for video review, and probably wisely so. This referee's been on the ball with these calls off the lines. Toldo's also taking a sweet time in between every touch. Oh, Lee goes a little early. <laughs> Koreans tend to do that quite a bit. They're very aggressive off the line. Alright, Toldo keeps marching. A little bit of point in line set up by Lee. Takes the blade over, starts marching. Accelerates right into Toldo's parry post. Very nice. Again, Lee's been going straight on almost all of his attacks, which, if he goes fast enough, he can just power right through Toldo's attempts at parrying. But at that distance and timing, when Toldo's able to get away... Again, infighting, Toldo pull... <laughs> You can see there again, Toldo is keeping his blade really far back. Oh, red card for Lee. Wow. Um, but yeah, you can see Toldo keeping his arm way back. Lee has to fish for the blade to get the right of way back before he feels comfortable hitting. Um, okay, Lee keeps on marching. Misses, no lights! And uh, does the good old uh, infighting over the, back, over the front shoulder. Um, twisting his arm kind of up from four. Classic position. Ken Toldo finds a parry post off the line, but again, Lee takes it back this time. He's not had any luck with that action, and it's, it is really good for him uh, when he can land it, but not today, sadly. Lee accelerates and finishes to the flank. So between that card and some really nice parry post work by Toldo, Lee is down. 
he is maybe feeling a bit of pressure now, although there's plenty of time left in the bout. Uh, <laughs> Koreans tend to not let the bout go very long before uh, it ends, but there's plenty of room to slow things down a little bit and reevaluate the situation, but I think Lee's probably just going to go, go, go. Toldo kind of is too, to be honest. Lee tries another long remise. Goes off target, though. And 8.5 seconds. They might back off, but they might not. And more infighting happens. This time it's Lee, though, as Toldo's weapon gets wrenched out of his hand by the power of Lee's superior uh, blade positioning and leverage and his sheer speed. Okay, Lee is clawing his way back with only a few seconds left. He might go off the line right now, actually. Doesn't look like his body language says that, though. Yes, it is! Wow! I shouldn't say against myself. That was a soul read, if I ever seen one. Um, Lee does get it with the four flick and a cross step forward. He tried that a couple touches ago um, as well. Surely he's not going to go for it now, though. Like, it's 13-13 with 5.7 seconds. That would be insane. Let's see. Nope. Yep. Again, Toldo is really good at finding the blade right off the line there. Uh, Lee slips into Remise, though, at close distance. That's so close that Toldo can't... Uh, he doesn't really have room to find a repost. So, tactically, I think Lee likes off the line, but Toldo, like, mechanically, he's uh, his pair of posts off the line has been really good. Lee finds the blade, and Toldo throws out the line with one second left, and that's going to be it. Wow. What an action-packed bout so far. 13-13. Honestly, I'm pretty impressed with Toldo's fencing. This is, like... Like, I know he was good, but standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with Lee Kwang Kyung is just, like, insanity. You know, I might actually go back and watch some more bouts of Toldo's. Um, also, you can see his uh, coach there telling him uh, about something that looks like Prem. Maybe some point-in-line setups. I don't want to read too much into that uh, coaching, though, because I usually get it wrong. But yeah, Toldo's greatest strength so far, I think, has been his parry post, both uh, when Lee is pushing him and right off the line when Lee goes for a, a very strong attack. Uh, his attack has been a little bit less stellar, unless Lee goes for that scrunchy uh, counterattack thing that didn't work well uh, twice in a row. But I imagine Lee's going to be smart enough to not go for that again. Now, I have a sneaking suspicion that Lee might start the second period with another attack off the line. Let's see if I'm right. Probably not, but who knows. Nope, it's Toldo. Okay, Lee's being a bit more careful now, it seems. Toldo with the point of line setup, kind of what his coach was talking about before, and then sweeping Prem. Okay, I see what he's doing now. Oh, but Lee finds it on the way in. So Toldo is taking his coach's advice. Using point in line, when Lee attacks, he's sweeping uh, kind of circle six, or maybe pre-mish sort of thing, uh, circling his blade in that direction. There it is. Oh, barely off the, uh, <laughs> barely on the strip. Keeps pushing very slowly. This is good for Toldo, though. Lee likes faster speeds, and there, that's amazing for Toldo. That tempo won him that touch pretty much all on its own. Very, very slow. Lee kind of just gives a few casual steps back. Toldo is able to accelerate. Toldo's maximum speed might not be at quite at least, but his acceleration certainly is. Lee finds the blade in close, even though Toldo was trying to pull it away. Toldo goes off target, though. So he's asking for a video review for covering target again, maybe? Oh, if he gets Lee red carded again and wins the bout 15-13, <laughs> that would be, uh, well... I personally prefer to win bouts with a touch rather than a card, but... Um, this is a world championship, and you can take any advantage you can get. Looks like, nope. There was nothing particularly untoward in that phrase, so... 14-13 for Toldo. That last touch, if he can maintain that same tempo, I don't think Lee's gonna let him, though. Oh, this is close. Oh, right off the line! Lee goes indirect! Toldo was ready to leverage that lightning-quick parry post off the line again, but Lee has his number. Changing lines at the last possible second. That was beautiful. And it's LaBelle. <laughs> oh no! Same thing! Lee goes hard off the line. Toldo looked to be ramping something up, but Lee catches him in preparation. That is absolutely amazing. 
What about? <laughs> Man, Toldo has still got it. And really, he never didn't. Um, but Lee, uh, doing what Lee does best and just out exploding his, <laughs> out exploding his opponent. That kind of sounds like he's like physically blowing up on the strip. Um, although to be fair, he metaphorically did this bout. Man, that was epic. All right, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, I've got a lot more bouts planned to watch for the uh, from the World Championships in Budapest. Uh, hopefully, I can resist the temptation to watch all of them without commentating them uh, right after this one. But yeah. Thank you very much, and as always, stay sharp.